Hey guys, welcome back. So ESUS or EaseUS or actually do leave me a comment below. Let me know how I should pronounce this, but I think it's ESUS um, reached out to me asking me if I wanted to review their new video editing software. Now I use Vegas Pro for all of my video edits, but that can be a bit daunting if you've never done any kind of video editing before. And I've been told that this software is a lot easier to use. So let's do a quick download and try this out. Now they are doing a current promotion for this software. So if you do like the look of it, do have a look in the video description for a 40% discount code. But for now, let's just download this. Okay, let's open that up. And let's see how easy this is to create our first video. And we'll do some of the basic stuff like, you know, cutting, maybe do some transition effects, maybe do an intro and outro, and just the basic kind of stuff that you'd want to do if you are making a video. Okay, let's click on install. Okay, let's open that up. Okay, we have a nice summary here just saying, install the software, open it up and you can now start editing and creating your videos. And it's a good thing to mention here that this company, this EasyOS, has been around for a fair while and I have reviewed some of the data recovery and also some of their partitioning software in the past. And we can see they have over 10 million customers and they do always give you a 30 day money back guarantee. Just in case you're not happy with what you've purchased, you can get your money back. Okay, let's open up the software. Okay, so here we can see it's asking you what kind of aspect ratio you'd like to create your video. So let's go for a standard widescreen, which is 16 by 9. Here we can see it does start with some kind of tutorial asking you to import your first video. Uh, let's click on OK. Okay, let's bring in our first video. Let's click on Import, uh, Import File. Okay, I've got a, an old video on the desktop here. Let's click on open. Here we can see the media is imported here. And on all video editors, you'll have what's known as a timeline. So this is where you basically drag in your media, drag in your text, drag in your photos or anything you wanna show in your video, you drag that into your timeline. And when you render that, this will then be your output video. Okay, here is our imported media. Let's drag that into the timeline. There it is. Okay, so if I now click on play, that's my video playing there on the timeline. So that's how easy it is to import video into your timeline. And of course you could import as many uh, video files as you like. Now probably the first thing you wanna learn when you do actually uh, start learning video editing is how do you actually uh, split or how do you trim uh, your video clips? So let's say for example, I want to start my video, not from there, but maybe from, from here. So you drag the cursor to where you'd like to make the cut and we can see here we have a button for split. So that's the proper term. So you're splitting the video track. So let's click on that now. And we can see we've now cut our track. We have one video file or one part of the video file here and we have the other part over here. So we can now click on this. If you want to delete that, press the delete button and that's how easy it is to trim your video clip. Now let's say for example, you want to trim in the middle or trim a section out from the middle. So once again, let's bring our cursor to over here for example press the snip button, then we go down to here and let's say we want to trim out that much, press the trim button again or the split button and we can see we now have the start of the video, the end and the bit in the middle that we want to trim. So let's click on delete or press delete. And that's now also gone as well. Okay, so we can see before the next tip starts, we kind of have a blur effect. So let's say we want to add in our own transition effect. So again, let's now split this track here. Click on split. We now have two sections. Let's go to transitions and we can see they do have quite a few transitions built in. Uh, let's just go for this ripple one over here. Let's now drag that into the timeline and let's see what that looks like when we actually play it. And there we have it guys. So very easy to add in transition effects. And as we can see guys, there is a quite a few here. Another thing you may want to do is actually remove the audio from your video. Let's say for example, if you want to use maybe background music instead, or you want to use a different audio source, the way we can do that on here is if you do a right click on your uh, video clip and you have the option here to audio detach. And what happens then is it basically splits your video file into two tracks, one for the video and one for the audio. And of course, if I just delete the audio track, we can see now when I press the play button, although we have the video here, there's no audio. Now, for example, we can pause this here, go to music, and I can now drag in this audio track here, for example. Let's click on play. Okay, great, so now we have my video with some other <laughs> random audio. Okay, let's stop that. Another thing you may want to do is to add in some text onto your video. So let's say, for example, you're making a tutorial or you just want to highlight something. Let's go over to the text pane, and we can see we have lots of different styles we can use to add in some text. So let's just go for this title style. Let's bring this in over here. And let's just double click on that. Okay, so we can now change some of the properties. So 
Uh, let's move over here. Okay, let's make that a little bit bigger. TD UK here. Uh, let's change the font. Let's make that bold. And also let's give that a nice blue gradient. I mean, who doesn't like gradients? <laughs> okay, that's done. Uh, and we can also add in some motion. So let's click on motion tab. And let's say we want to move in from the right. So let's click on that. Click on OK. Let's now start that again. And let's see our new text in action. And we should now get our brand new uh, text line, which is up here. And that's looking great. And of course, you can make that as long and short as you want it. So if I bring this back to here, then it should only play for a few seconds. So one, two, three, and it should now disappear. There we go. So we can see, guys, it is very, very easy to use, especially if you have no kind of video editing experience. You can just do pretty much everything with just point and click. OK, so our entire video is just just over 16 seconds long. I mean, just for a test. How do we now actually render this ready for our upload to YouTube? OK, to do that, let's go over to export. We're going to make an MP4 file. We're going to save it. Let's save onto the desktop. And we can call it my my first video. OK, so in the trial version of the software, you are limited to 720p. We can see I shouldn't be able to change it because it requires the VIP or can't change it. And we can see you do have to buy a license key to get the full version. So either you can do it as a monthly subscription or you can buy a one time lifetime upgrade for $80. Okay, let's close that down. Let's leave that 720p. Let's see if we can actually export our first video. So let's click on export. And here we just get the warning that because we are using a trial version of the software, you are going to see a watermark on the video, but that's fine for a test. So let's click on evaluate. Give that a second. Now, of course, rendering videos will depend greatly on how long your video is and how fast or how powerful your GPU is on your computer. So those things can play a factor in determining how long a video will take to render. But of course, in this test video, that was done very quickly. Let's open that up. Here is the first video to MP4. And if I do a properties on that, we can just confirm that the resolution for this is 1280 by 720. So it is a 720p video. And if I try and open that up, and there we have it, guys. We have a newly created video, which has no audio, but has a special uh, text intro. And that's how easy it is to create videos using the EOS's video editor. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you do want to find out more about the EOS's video editor, then do have a look in the video description. As mentioned, they are doing a 40% discount code. So if you do want to purchase that, then do have a look at the pinned comment. Other than that, many thanks for your support, guys. Really appreciate it. Do leave me a comment below and let me know which video editor you're currently using. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.